Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this another brand new day. It is Thursday, and I can tell it's Thursday because I have my therapy appointment today. 6.49 a.m., a little earlier than I've been starting, not as early as I wanted to start because I had to leave so quickly today. The 15th of March, 2018, yes, indeed. I've been fighting with my system again, of course. Good old Windows and Windows 10. If I turn off my computer, I have to make sure I go through and check all my sound settings because Windows 10 likes to take my microphone input levels and turn them all the way down to zero. And until, unless you only way to change that is to go down into the taskbar, right click on the little volume mixer, say open up this, go over, double click, not double click, right click on my microphone, that's what it is, hit properties, then go to levels, and then turn it up to 100. So it'll actually start listening to the mic. That was a very, very difficult thing to track down the very first time Windows decided to turn off the mic just as default. Default, your equipment doesn't work right. <laughs> Gotta love Microsoft and Windows 10. That's not the default I would shoot for. Default, broken. So now I'm sitting up semi-straight in my chair. My back is killing me today. I went to bed semi-early last night, but before I went to bed, about nine o'clock last night, I kept falling asleep all day yesterday, and which was bad, especially, because at one point I woke up, my, my head was just ringing like a bell, which means I stopped breathing again while sitting in this chair with no sleeping mask on. Yay! My chest didn't feel good for quite some time after that because when you stop breathing, it is an incredible strain on your heart and your head. So, boy, I probably put a huge strain there. Probably lucky I didn't have a heart attack. I gotta be more careful. But when I woke up, they I checked the temperature of my cores on my computer. And back when I had a previous type of cooler, water cooler, where I couldn't get to the radiator. It gradually clogged up, but I couldn't get to it, and it was within six degrees Celsius of the max temperatures that the chip is supposed to get to before it is destroyed by heat. Once I got a new cooler put in, sent to me by a very kind commenter, and hopefully still subscriber, Straxion, I was had my nephew replace the cooler because with my semi-paralyzed hand at the time, it just was not going to work well. Since then, it went from 6 degrees Celsius of being too hot to 50 degrees away from being too hot. Last night, it's been slowly creeping up because, you know, it's dusty in this place. It's dusty. Computers suck up dust because they got to keep cool. So you got to blow the dust out of your hardware and stuff. I checked my temperature on my thing because it was loud. It was getting loud again. And normally I can't hear the computer. But last night I went, that's loud. Turned off my fan. I got a box fan here next to it that I blow air at the computer. And it was loud. So I checked the temperature and I was within 11 degrees Celsius of the max temperature. So I went, oh boy. That was the first time it had ever been that bad building up slowly. So last night, I always have to cross my fingers and hope for this one, but I unplugged everything, took the side off, ripped the graphics card out, and then just blew the dust out of everything. Even undid the radiator for the water cooler so I could get into it and blow the dust out of the radiator. One of the fans on my graphics card is starting to lock up. When I'm blowing the air, to clean it out at the one fan, it spins just easily. The other one, it's stiff. It really takes a lot of work. How do you fix that? What do you do? Does anybody know? I suppose I could just ask my brother-in-law who still owns and has employee at, one, at least one employee at a computer repair place. I could ask him, but I'm asking you first if anybody knows. 
But after blowing the air out, and literally I have to yank the graphic card out and take my air compressor, which is actually just my Kirby vacuum cleaner. Everything turned up and then swapped around so that it turns into an air compressor. And blowing the air out of the graphics card and then blowing the air out of the computer case and around the hard drives and around all the pieces there and then unscrewing the pieces for the water cooler and then blowing the air out of the radiator. This morning I am now going right over and checking my temperatures. I am 47 degrees Celsius away. In fact it just flipped to 41. So instead of being within 11 to 20 degrees of being too hot, I am now back to being 40 to 50 degrees margin between being too hot. So that's a very good thing. And again, my thanks. Thank you so much, Draxion. You are a good person, and I greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much. It is a very good thing. Past that, because I fell asleep so much yesterday, I really didn't do anything. I didn't go out walking. I didn't do anything. I kept falling asleep. And I'd wake up and my hands would be numb because these hard plastic of this chair here, if I fall asleep, my hands plonk down, my arms plonk down, was what I meant to say, rest against the arm of the chair, and the pressure against the nerves cuts off the nerve impulses and my hands go numb. And since I already abraded the radial nerve on this hand once, to the point that my hand was paralyzed for over a year. It did not work. I am ultra paranoid about all of my nerve bundles, nerve fibers that run all through my body. I don't want to lose my hand again. So it's scary when I wake up and my hands are numb and don't work right. Especially since, I mean, I already have carpal tunnel issues. So I've got to be careful or I'm going to lose the hands entirely that way. So I don't need to be doing extra damage. Thumbs up. I haven't managed to do anything at all of import in my life. I have not made it back out to the Veterans Hub to get into the system and figure out housing stuff again. I have not gone anywhere. I have been stuck in my little bubble of social isolation. Sometimes I don't get out because, like yesterday, I just kept falling asleep all day from 8 o'clock in the morning until, well, when I woke up around 9 o'clock again. I'd wake up fits and chunks, falling asleep all day. So I need to finish getting into the Veterans Hub so I can find a better place to live where I'm not going to be minus three, four hundred bucks every single month while my housemates have money to spend. Not a lot, but so. More than I got. Thumbs up. So I don't really have a lot to talk about. I've, I mean, I've had some. I've had lots of thoughts and ideas, but I have not had my little whiteboard, which is, you know, I showed everybody this yesterday, and here's the stuff that was still on it from yesterday because I didn't write anything down because I was falling asleep all day yesterday. And then last night, I... The only time I was really awake at night was when I blew the dust out of my computer. As soon as I blew the dust out of my computer, I made sure everything was working right, shut everything down, and went to bed. So I haven't really done anything, and the thoughts that I have had, because I got up, it was after four that I woke up this morning from pain. It was a nice easing awake again. These past month, these past month. I was going to say these past weeks, but it turned into saying this past month. So it was a mix. These past month. <laughs> Usually when I go to bed and wake up, even if it's one o'clock I go to bed, by four o'clock, pain has kicked in my door. It is smacking me with the butt of a gun and screaming at me to wake up. Lately, this past month, I've been going to bed even a little early. And if I've gone to bed early before, all that's done is instead of waking up at 5 o'clock, I wake up at 2 o'clock from pain. I've been going to bed early, and instead of pain bursting in my door and screaming at me to wake up, it's been knocking on the door, easing it open, and then tapping me on the shoulder gently and saying, hey, 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 come on, you got to wake up. It's time to get up. 
So I've been able to sleep a little bit longer when I go to bed and actually have restful sleep. I'm not sure what or why, but it's very nice. <laughs> it's nice to get, when I go to bed and be in bed for five hours, to get actual five hours of sleep instead of going to bed for five hours and being in agony after two. So it's a definite plus. I'm not quite sure what's happened, what the change is, but definitely quite pleased by it. Pain is an important thing in our lives. We would all die before we made it even to puberty if we didn't have pain. Because those people that don't get pain signals usually don't live all that long. By their 20s, they've usually died. And if not, they're, they're usually blind because they cannot tell that they've hurt their eyes. Their teeth are damaged because when you're a kid, you're gonna bite stuff. And if you wanna get into something, you're gonna bite it open. And you don't know that you've just wrecked your teeth. So when you can't feel pain, you're not in good shape when you get older. That's why most people like that don't live into their 20s. Life is, is harsh. Pain is a really good teacher. Sometimes way too good, but it's, it's a good teacher. I don't like pain myself, but it saved my life. <laughs> and it is good that way. So definitely a thumbs up. Oh, I got so wrapped up in talking. Bad ears, I've got little bad ears. Now I gently was able to ease him awake too. So he didn't scream in terror like last time I had him. Oh my gosh, he just, he didn't realize I was up above. And when I touched his cage and, and him down there, he just jerked and screamed, poor little guy. So this time I woke him up successfully by moving his tissue on his little house. Well, his nest, not his house. He doesn't, he doesn't have a house. He's got the tube. He doesn't really play with the tube. I'll show you the tube in a minute. His little bad ears. He's a good little guy. I'm gonna put you back in your cage. Here we go. Good little bad ears. Bad ears, Mickey. Official real name, Patches Jr. But little bat ears who doesn't really do anything with this one. So maybe I should give it to somebody else like Charlie. There's the connecting tube because Mama Squeak has the house, the single story house. Boogle has got the two story house. And then I've been using the connecting tube for like bat ears, but he hasn't even been chewing it. He's just ignoring this thing entirely. So I'm gonna try Charvy. And if Charvy doesn't like it, there's Nine Toes, my little rescue guy. The, he doesn't actually do much. He does still run on his wheel, but when he's not running on his wheel, he's just sitting and in, in his nest and eating and cleaning himself and just sleeping. He's old, so he runs, but he just sleeps a lot, which happens. But it, he might like it if Charvy doesn't. So... I think is stated I'm gonna take this away from bad ears and give it to Charvy and see if Charvy likes it. Actually, if bad ears has got a bunch of stuff that he doesn't do anything with. I've got he's got this too, and he doesn't really chew on that. Well he does a little bit, as you can see it's a little tore up, but not much. Oh well. It's it's okay. He doesn't have to use the toys that I give it. I'll just see if the others like them. Thumbs up for that. A very good thing. I don't have a hamster cage next to me here this morning because I took my shower and it was actually a struggle just to get the room set back up just so I could start recording because I had to move a bunch of stuff just to fix my computer last night and get the air, the air blown out of it, get the dust blown out of it. I had to move a bunch of stuff into the hall there to make sure I had room like these chairs here and the hamster cage. I had to move the uh, easel so that I wouldn't knock stuff around. And then getting back in here this morning and moving stuff after taking my shower after waking up so early, I'm exhausted. Today is likely gonna be another, I'm falling asleep through the whole day. The day. Life is life. Thumbs up for that. 
But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me comments on the community tab of my, well, my, my comment section. I love comments. I love talking to people. I love reading the comments. It's very awesome. Thank you all so very, very much. But I'm thanking people for having left me comments. Now, I'm not reading the comments right now. I'm going to read them afterward. I'm going to thumbs up everyone I read, answer as many as I can. But for right now, I'm just thanking you for having left a comment. If I mispronounce your username, my sincere apologies. I'm an American English speaker. We're not good at names. In fact, we're quickly getting not to be good at anything at all except shooting and killing people. But I'm better than most at saying names, so thumbs up on that. And it's a range because I counted American Sign Language and I forgot to look up in the book because I fell asleep yesterday and I've been so tired yesterday, this morning. I'm pretty sure I'm mighty close, but counting has always been a little wonky in my 20s. So I'm going to call up my browser since I closed it because too much bright light was coming through. If you didn't notice the difference in in brightness there. There's the browser down and the browser up and it, it's bright and shiny. <laughs> so we have Chris Jericho, thank you very, very much. Balthazar Cohen, greatly appreciated. Ice Demon, thumbs up for that. Bioactive, son of a gun. Claude5190, thank you so much. Gamer Ghost, that's pretty cool, nice name, thank you. Russell Ashmore, greatly appreciated. Idos, A-I-D-O-S, thank you very, very much. The Gooners 11, and then we have Artsy Panda 24. Thank you very, very much. Conspo Lopez, greatly appreciated. Joseph Clough, thank you very, very much. Isa Khan, thank you very, very much. Brendan Green, greatly appreciated. Tap Productions Official, son of a gun. And Kasky Chin Productions, I hope I'm close. Simo Ball, I sure hope. Thank you very, very much. Tercio Filo, whole bunches of names that I'm not sure I'm anywhere close. I'm only hoping. Thank you so very, very much, all of you. JGL, <laughs> thank you very, very much. Enzo Warren, thank you very much. Skirty, greatly appreciated. And Kak Sato, I sure hope I'm close. And River Lang, no, that was three, so four. River Langford, thank you very, very much. And then last but not least, Nicholas Paquette. Greatly appreciated. Each and every one of you, as stated, you get me out of my head, into the world, dealing with people. It is a very good thing. Thank you so very, very much. Even troll comments. I mean, troll comments largely I either answer in kind or just delete. But thank you, everybody, for having left a comment. Even jerks. The fact is you left time, you left time, you took time out of your day to leave a comment. Even if your comment was something that just proves that you shouldn't be allowed to interact with other human beings, the fact is you took the time to be vile in my direction. That's at least showing that you paid attention, so thank you. For everybody else that's, you know, a normal human being as well, thank you all so much. It is appreciated. I love reading comments. I love interacting with people. It is a very good thing. <coughs> Excuse me. If you could check my links down below, I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com, Google+. If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign, and my thanks to everybody who has been donating. You are all beautiful and wonderful people. And my thanks to all of my Patreon.com patrons. That's what the word is. I forgot how to speak English there for a moment. My sincere apologies. But you, too, are all very beautiful, very awesome people. And if you could donate, that would be beautiful and awesome as well. However, if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes. I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest, so thank you very much. If you could toss me a like, I do appreciate all the positive validation I get for my existence. And if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be cool, but I would understand if you don't want to. But if you are down with it, I will do my best to keep you entertained from now until the literal end of time. And yes, I am extra histrionic. I'm a drama king, basically. I love talking with my hands. I will go crazy if I ever cannot move them. If I get handcuffed, I'm going to lose my mind. Especially if it's behind my back and I'm handcuffed. I'm physically claustrophobic that way. I will go insane. So I'm, I try my best to make sure I'm not going to ever get arrested. Well, you take care. Have a great day today. I've got a reaction video coming up, got a game video coming up. If I don't fall asleep, 
then I'll have a game video for my game channel. A very good thing. So, son of a gun. Take care. I will see you. And that is a good thing.